This video is going to show you how to get your basketball goal moving back and forth. And you can see here this is all about image sprites. And you're going to need these files. But we're going to work with this first. So we're going to have our basketball goal pull back and forth. We're going to use something called edge reach. So how are we going to do that? All image sprites actually have a speed here and you can see that in their properties and if you give it a speed it's going to move at this interval towards this direction heading now heading um, you have 0, 90 is straight up 180 is uh, directly across and then you have 270 that is down so heading when I give this a speed it actually would move this way now they have an event called edge reach for image sprite. So when it reaches this edge, if my speed is 5, I want to make it negative 5. That way it goes back this way. Now when it gets this way and it hits this edge, I want to make it from negative 5 to 5 to make it go back this way. And that's going to give us the effect of going back and forth with our basketball goal. Um, all this is going to start when we actually put the play Button. So let's go ahead and code this. So I'm going to go down to BT and play. And when someone pushes play, we want to start the game. So I'm going to make a procedure. I'm going to call that procedure start game. So then I'll go ahead and place this in there. And that is done. But when we start the game, I want my basketball goal, again, I want this to start going back and forth. So I simply need to give this sprite a speed, and it'll start moving in this direction. So I'm going to call basketball goal. I'm going to go down, since it's a property, it's a green block, and I want to change the basketball goal speed. And we're going to reuse the speed a lot. So I'm going to make a global variable, call it goal speed. And the goal speed I'm going to use is going to be 5. So then I'm going to set my basketball goal speed to 5. And now what's going to happen with this code when I push play, this will start moving five. Now it has an event edge reach. When it reaches this edge, I want to make it negative five. So to do that, I'm going to go to my basketball goal. You can see here's the events we have. This is the one I want, edge reached. And what I want to do is make it opposite the speed. So if it's five, it should go to negative five. So I'm going to actually change the speed. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to set the speed. If it goes to negative 5, I simply want to times it by negative 1. I'm just going to put this in here. I want to get the current basketball goal speed. And I want to times it by negative 1. Now we're going to go ahead and test this out and what we're looking for is when I push play this should go back and forth. So let's go ahead and test this. Go ahead to build. I'm going to actually install it on our tablet. It's going to compile our code and then we need to test it. Scan it and then let's... Here we are on the screen when I push play you can see it starts moving. When it hits that edge, it bounces, goes back to the other edge, hits the other edge, sees it bounces back, and it does this. So we were successful in creating that. Now that you see that is currently working on your own, you're gonna go ahead and add in this image sprite. This is gonna be a CPU player, your opponent who's going to try to 
catch the ball so you don't score. Here's the steps to kind of add that in as a refresher. But I want you to go ahead and do edge reach. You can see from here, code on your own. When CPU air reaches the course's edge, it should bounce off that edge. It should also change the speed and reverse the direction. I just showed you a version of that with a goal. Now do this one on your own.